Welcome to today's quick tech tip on Microsoft Edge. If you're like me, you've probably got too many browser tabs open. One study suggested that if you have more than four browser tabs open, your stress levels will increase. So let's take a quick tour of the history feature in Microsoft Edge to see if it can help us to let go of some of our open tabs. Follow the ellipsis in Microsoft Edge and select history or you might prefer to use the keyboard shortcut, Control and H, to open the History panel. You can pin this panel open using the pin icon at the top, and here you'll see a list of all the websites that you visited today, yesterday, and so on in chronological order. You can also see a list of tabs that you've recently closed, and even a list of tabs that you might have opened on another device in Microsoft Edge, if you've been signed in with the same account. By the way, if you have Edge on your mobile phone or tablet and you've signed in with your Edge account, it will automatically synchronize the history to make it easier for you to find your way back to a website that you've visited. And this list of tabs from other devices makes it easier to take a web page that you might have been looking on your small screen phone and open it up on your large screen computer. But what's really handy in Microsoft Edge today is the search feature. So I know that I visited a web page about Thailand recently, but I can't remember when it was. I can open up the history pane and search for it. I'll type in Thailand and you can see the results coming up. Now that you know that you can not only view your web browsing history, but even search through it, it may be that you can let go of some of those tabs that you have open. Web browsing history is typically kept on your device for around three months. So if you need to keep something longer than that, use a bookmark or even better, a collection. We have a video on collections in Edge that we'll leave a link to below. If you need to clear your web browsing history, you can do it from the history tab by clicking on the ellipsis and clear browser history. You can also open up your history into its own web tab from this menu. And lastly, you can make sure that the history button is showing on your browser toolbar too. If you found this tip helpful, make sure you give us the thumbs up and join us every week for more Microsoft Quick Tech tips by subscribing to the channel and ringing that bell.